Hey guys, what's up? Al here from Alanim Gaming, and today we're going to be looking at the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation, which is probably one of the most popular formations in FIFA 18 Ultimate Team this year, especially in Foot Champions. I come across it game after game. It's not the formation that I start off with, but it's going to be the formation that I turn to at half time in the 60th minute if I'm losing the game and need a goal, because it is the go-to formation if you need a goal. So let's get into the player instructions of what I would do personally. Um, for each of the players. If you start in this from the very start of the game, then obviously you want your right back and left back to stay back while attacking. But if you're changing it at half time, if you need a goal in the 70th minute, then you can always put these to always overlap for your right back and left back, and they will fly down the wings, guys. Obviously, for your centre defensive mid, you want one with high defensive work rate, someone like Kante, someone like Jordan Henderson, who's always going to push back. Um, so you want that to be cut passing lines, you want them to cut the passing line because you want to cut they want them to cut out the through ball which the opponent's gonna probably play in behind you and obviously stay back while attacking, which will go nicely with the high defensive work rates. I'd leave both the centre mids how they were, as say unless you need a goal then put them stay forward. If you want to see out a lead in the 70, 80th minute, then put them stay back while attacking. But I keep it how they were for now and have one with high attacking work rate, so maybe high medium. And one with more defensive work rate, so medium high or medium medium, so they're more likely to track back. And you can always put them to stay back while attacking if needs be. In terms of your centre attacking mid, I'd always have it stay forward. I wouldn't necessarily change any of them, and depending if you want them to get into the box, depending on if you want them to stay on the edge of the box, uh, but I keep it how it was there. And in terms of your two strikers, I'd always have them stay central, get in behind, and press back the line. Um, because that's going to have the most chance of getting in behind your opponent's back line. So they are the player instructions, guys. Let's go in and get into the custom tactics. As I say, this is a narrow formation, so it is going to work <coughs> slightly differently to other formations, such as the 4-3-2-1 and 4-4-2. So I'm just reading off my notes here because I have got written down um, what numbers they should be for the 4 one 2 one 2 and what. Um, you should change to in game and start off from the very beginning. So it is a tacker, ticker tacker formation. You want fast build up play. So I put the speed around 65, uh, 66. Obviously, the lower that number, the slower the build up play is. I think in my 4 4 2 1, I play around 61, but this is slightly quicker, so it needs to be a bit higher, 66. The passing, because it's such a narrow formation, that needs to be lower. <coughs> At around 35 because you're not going to want to play long through balls over the top when it's such a narrow formation and all of your players are condensed again you want short passing uh, as it's a narrow formation as I've just said before in terms of your position your defensive building up position you always want that organized you don't want it to be free from don't even go there your defense are going to end up in the field and they're going to be absolutely all over the place and you really don't want that in terms of the passing in terms of chance creation you want this to be around uh, 50. I've kept that at 50, guys. I'm not actually changing that. The lower the number, the safer the passing is. The higher the number, the more risk you're prepared to take to try and get the right pass and get your opponent in behind. But I'd keep that around 50. So it's a mix between safe and risky. In terms of crossing, because it is an hour formation, you're not going to want to cross much. <coughs> Therefore, I have got th that down at 40. If you are a crosser, um, then I wouldn't recommend playing the 4 1 2 1 2. Play a formation like the 4-3-2-1 or the 4-4-2, a formation like that, then you can boost that crossing up. Um, in terms of shooting, again, because it is a narrow narrow tick attacker formation, you don't want this to be too high. Because you're going to be passing the ball a lot, you don't want this to be too high at all. So I'm keeping that at 55, so you've got the option to shoot from outside the box and to try and get your <coughs> player into the right position. Excuse me, I have got a bit of a cold at the moment. This is quite an important bit. I'd have that at free form, which means your centre mids can alternate. It means your centre attacking mid can end up at your CDM, uh, but you've got more chance of getting into an attacking position with that. Obviously, if you don't want that to happen, they keep it organised, but I always have it on free form. This is the most important bit of the custom tactics in terms of your defence, and I'm keeping this the same um, as what I do for my 4 4 2 because it works really well for me. <coughs> I'm going to have my pressure at 57, which is a medium line. It's not too high, it's not too low. Obviously, if you want to defend really deep in the last few minutes of a game and you want to see the game out, then you can always lower that pressure and your defensive back line will sit all the way back. But from the very outset, I play that at 57, which means you're going to score lots of goals, but you've also got a tendency to concede lots of goals as well. In terms of the aggression, again, the same as the 4-4-2, sorry, 
I've kept that at 61. You want your defense to push the opponent and try and win the ball back, run towards them, and maybe you know have a chance of them getting in behind, but you've got more chance of winning the ball back. That's why I've kept that at 61. Team width is slightly different for the 4 for 4 one 2 one 2 because it is a narrow formation. That's why we are keeping that at 40. If it was a 4 4 2, I'd keep it at 50 55. <coughs> uh, but because it is a narrow formation, keep that at 40. And obviously, you, you want your defender line to be covered. Never have offside trap. Um, that is why. So, those are my custom tactics, guys, for the 4 1 2 1 2. Uh, if that did help you guys and you want to see more custom tactics and player instructions like this, then obviously leave a like and subscribe if you're new. But for now, this is Al signing out from LLM Gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.